Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation and Kentuckians everywhere, Ron DeSantis has become like the governor of the country. His strong, powerful positions that are very Trumpian in the state of Florida is what we need and want here in the state of Kentucky. And I'm going to ask you this question. Do you want a Ron DeSantis-like governor, which I would be, or do you want the same old crap with these professional politicians? I don't know if all of you realize it yet, how much I stand alone against all of them, against all of it with you. I am your people's champion. I am your warrior for you. And I want you to know that we're going to win. So your energy in assisting me in this cause is not going to be for naught. You know, I went to the Jefferson County Lincoln Day dinner. And I left way early. Because I'm in this room. By the way, there's some, I'm sure there's some good people there. I met a few good people. But the Republican establishment. I mean, here, here is who is against me. The Democrats, the Republican establishment, I am the only candidate calling for Mitch McConnell to go. Rand Paul, who by the way, I've always supported Rand Paul, but Rand Paul's a one-trick pony these days. I've now heard him speak at several occasions. All he talks about is Fauci, 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 Fauci. Uh, you got those like Thomas Massey and others who think they own the cause, like we're not allowed to be champions of the cause. The state media, because I'm such a Trumper, they can't stand me. The corporate world can't stand me because I've battled the corporate world in Northern Kentucky for the people my entire life. And I'm just telling you, you can divide this race up into who the country clubbers, who are they all for, and who's gonna be the champion for the people. You, there isn't one other candidate if you're Bulldog Nation, if you're quote unquote average Joe Kentuckian, average Jane Kentuckian, hardworking American, these people aren't going to represent your interests. They're not going to fight for you. Remember my motto is from Teddy Roosevelt aggressive fighting for the right. Aggressive fighting is the noblest sport the world affords. That's it. And then, when I think about all of your life struggles, all that you go through, my empathy and compassion for what you go through, because I've been through it. You read the Butcher of Pakistan, you think I've been, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth and my life's all been a bed of roses. Well, when you read the Butcher of Pakistan, you will see that I've endured some of the same things that you've endured, and it's like the book of Job. I mean, I'm not kidding you. My last 10 years has been the book of Job, and I survived. I, I can't stress this enough. I mean, every one of these videos I feel is important for the message it conveys. The message that I want to convey in this video is how important it is to you and the state of Kentucky for the working men and women, the family businesses, the small businessmen, the medium businessmen. I'm talking about businessmen that have a thousand employees, but they're not Wall Street. I'm talking about workers, every form of workers, whether you're a bartender, a waitress, a nurse, whatever your job, truck driver, co contractor, how important it is for me to be your governor. And the difference it would be, the difference it would be so different than everything, anything else you've ever experienced. A governor who truly gives a damn, a governor who truly cares, a governor who will truly communicate and will make sure every Kentucky department treats you like their boss. You got my cell phone number, my email address. That's gonna continue once I'm elected governor. I'm not gonna treat you like a vote. I'm gonna treat you like a Kentuckian and a human being. These people just want to use you for your vote, and they won't talk to you again. That's not my style. I got a track record of proving that. 
I mean, you, you can talk to anybody who's been involved in the Durrani battle, the Vax battle, any of my battles. I don't ignore anybody. I don't ignore anybody. Ever. 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 Look what we're doing in this campaign. Are we ignoring your questions? Not one. I saw where Ryan Qualls ducked the gay marriage question because the Kentucky Farm Bureau uh, stated they were against gay marriage and Ryan Qualls just ducked it. Why doesn't he answer the question? You know, these guys duck. I won't duck any question. Any question. It's important, folks. We have a chance to change things. It's me and you against all of them. All of it. And we can still win. It's the power of the people. Because I'm in a unique position. I'm not just some gadfly. I'm somebody who's got a little money. Not craft money, but a little money. I'm somebody who has a following. I got my own media studio. I got a biography that the others can't compete against. I've got a message that you love. This is a unique opportunity with a unique candidate and me. And we can do this. God bless all of you. Join this movement we got. And by the way, just to let you know, it's happening. I am so humbled and thrilled with the communication coming into my campaign from around this state, from every corner of the state, who gets what I just laid down to you. That's why they're communicating to me. Spread the word. Just think if all of you just spread the word and keep spreading the word. Anybody who checks out DietersForGovernor.com or watches the Bulldog Show, I like my chances to get their vote. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.